This is Jeff Evans reporting for Global Medical News Network. When a patient makes a switch from one formulation of a drug to another, particularly from a brand name to a generic drug, they expect them to have the same therapeutic effect. But patients with epilepsy and their doctors have long contended that this is not always true with anti-epileptic drugs. Here in Toronto at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Neurology, Johns Hopkins University neurologist Dr. Gregory Krauss presented a study that may help soothe some of their concerns. So the data generally supports using generics in terms of the FDA has defined uh, biocoolant standards and most anticonvulsants were well within those standards. They weren't uh, near the limits of those standards. There were some individual products, though, where there was more variability. What were those exceptions and what well, drug classes were those? There's two types of exceptions. Uh, one is just based on the intrinsic uh, absorption characteristics of uh, certain drugs. So, for example, carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine are uh, relatively insoluble, and uh, there's more variability in their absorption than with other drugs like levetiracetam, which is a highly soluble drug. Do you think that there's anything that um, doctors should advise their patients then if they're considering switching from maybe a brand name to a generic if it's, you know, it, because of price or something like that? Um, well, I think most patients, uh, if they're switching between a, a brand name to a generic drug and it's a pretty soluble drug, there should be no problem for probably 90% of patients. There's some patients who are very sensitive to uh, small changes in drug concentrations that are their kind of intolerant of AEDs or the half the glass of wine person gets woozy. And they may be more vulnerable to changes. Or there may be also patients who had very brittle control of their epilepsy and they were barely controlled without causing toxicity. And maybe some of them might have more problems with conversion if there were any changes in concentrations. Mm -hmm. This has been Jeff Evans reporting for GMNN.